for the teen camp. Uh, here's lunch one. We have a pineapple cookie dough parfait thing. I don't know. It's got chickpeas, pineapple, yogurt, cream cheese, and then some like Texas coleslaw here. This looks really yummy with a can of Rotel in there to give it a little spice. Uh, same thing with this day. And then we have like a throw together salad. This has black olives and beans and pineapple in it. Uh, and this one has yogurt and beans and pineapple, all that stuff in it. So these are four days of lunch. Breakfast is in the freezer. Going to pack all this up and we're ready to go. We're on the road. So breakfast was at home. I had a beautiful parfait with some puff cereal because I thought I could be having baked stuff all week because I baked our breakfasts for the week. So I had that and then we had lunch in the car. And now we're on to our next adventure. Got some <coughs> coffee refueling on the energy. Cough right in the phone. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. <laughs> Kelly got her mango uh, black iced tea, so sugar free. Good. It's so good. From Caribou. So fun. We're having an alfresco lunch in the car. Kelly's here too. Hello. So fun. So having fun. our lunch that we packed. Yes. Yes. And we're on an adventure, and it's very fun and tasty too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's dinner time. I know it's a little bit early, but this is what we're doing because we're going to be setting up and then we're going to be practicing. So it's going to get really late and we would be way too hungry to wait till afterwards. So we got Quidobas. It's one of my favorite places to get dinner. It's really easy to get. It's like a Mexican salad place and you can get this whole huge salad. It's beautiful. So this is what I did. I split it into two. So I'm going to eat this one. Wait, no, I'm going to eat this one. <laughs> uh, and then I asked them to put my lettuce and cold stuff in one and then the hot stuff in one. So then I can reheat that without getting soggy lettuce. So this I'm going to eat the rest of my dinner when we get back so then I'm not completely super stuffed before and then I'm going to eat this now so then it just kind of evens out so then I have energy to play and set up and do all the stuff and then I'll replenish when I get back. That's just you make it work for you. So I'm not overeating I'm just splitting it into two because the it the event calls for it so sometimes you need to do what you need to do and the girls are doing it too so is that awesome Thank you for this food you are. Breakfast at the hotel day one. I brought my breakfast this time because thankfully when we went down to get coffee, uh, the breakfast there was like all grab and go and it would have been really sad. But I have peach oat danishes today. And then, or I could have picked peanut butter jelly muffins or hummingbird muffins. But today I'm like, let's do the oat danishes with the peaches. So this is breakfast. Lunch is coming soon. We're just going to get ready, then go practice for the start of the team camp. On Instagram, somebody said, we have never eaten this good because where, what eat meal plan do you get to eat six whole muffins for breakfast? Like today, I just had four huge oat danishes with peaches on top for breakfast. And you lose weight. Like what? The best ever. I've never eaten this good before. Before, I probably would have been at the hotel, had a sad dry bagel with, I don't know, some cream cheese on it, and then been sad about my life. Or one of those little packaged sugary cereals, and then you feel horrible and hungry all day. Not anymore. I would rather eat my cooked stuff than go out and pick up some sugary, disgusting things anyways. 
We are eating the best life. Face in your face. Another alfresco lunch in the car real quick. Uh, the teens are just registering, getting checked in, and we're eating lunch before we start worship. I have a delicious salad. Kelly accidentally forgot her almonds, which is her fat serving, at the hotel. So we stopped at a gas station. So she's in there getting some almonds, and then she's going to get an unsweetened tea. She really likes tea. I got some coffee here. So salads and lunch in the car, just real quick, and then on to worship. So excited. First day at camp. The teams are getting in. Ah, oh, this is the best. Bon appetit. Mm-hmm. Mm. Cashews! Oh, yay! <laughs> hey, nuts are nuts. It's a good source of fat. And Mama's got her a delicious parfait here. It is so good. It's got mangoes, mm. blueberries, mm. Uh, yogurt, and a little teeny tiny bit of peanut butter. It doesn't look very good. It looks delish. It's very delicious. Delicious. Nothing like lunch on the road. <laughs> and then we have a big afternoon and then we'll get our dinner again and then go back to the hotel and then do it all again tonight. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I'll be able to, I don't know, set up some house so I can show y'all our worship because it's mm -hmm. really epic. It's loud and I like it. Dinner is Quadobas again because it's really easy. And this time I saw on the menu they have mashed cauliflower instead of rice like what come on i didn't know that but now i do so quidobas has mashed cauliflower and i know chipotle does too so again i'm gonna split this into two because we gotta eat early and then we're getting back late so then i'll have the rest of it after so delicious i got uh the beef brisket this time because i thought let's change up the meat and some jalapenos for a little bit of spice so that's dinner
wild day. So um, for lunch, we swapped because the day called for it. And it was busier during dinner than it was at lunch. So we swapped our meals. So we had dinner at lunchtime. And now we're having lunch at dinner time. So lunch is some coleslaw and a parfait. Just easy. And it's pretty late now at the hotel. So we're just going to eat and go to bed. <laughs> but it was a wild ride. Tomorrow's the last day and then we go home. So it was fun taking you on this food adventure again. <sighs> and you can eat healthy and travel and still be very busy. You can make this work for you. So like how we swapped it. We don't do it regularly at home, but it's okay once in a while. I mean, if you need to, make it work for you. It's still no sugar, still no flour, still three meals a day, the same. So it works. Breakfast, or as Kelly calls it, bakery breakfast. It's the best. We're having hummingbird muffins. They're laughing at me. We're having hummingbird muffins. And I thought it was really interesting. So last night when we got, uh, we ate pretty early. It was like lunch, but we swapped our lunch. So we had dinner at lunch and lunch and dinner. But I noticed our meeting at camp like went till like 1030, almost 11. And I did not feel hunger at all. When I'm busy or when I'm like with people and I get my mind not like on my body at all, I don't feel any hunger. This is the best. So I can actually like live life. I got to actually like spend time with the teens, spend time like just really focused on worship and all that stuff and just exerting myself and not even thinking about hunger at all. So great. You get to live your life in between the meals instead of just thinking about food all day. I even got back to the hotel and I didn't even feel hunger, but I'm like, I know I need to eat. Otherwise, I'm not going to feel good or I'm going to be hangry or something later and not even know it. So I did eat and then we went to bed and I slept so good. And now I'm excited for breakfast.